Okay, today we're going to be looking at a program called XProp. It's probably already installed in your machine. If not, it should be in your repositories. And we're just going to have a quick look at it, but basically it's to grab information about uh, the X window system, your, your display, and different windows. Um, so, real quick, uh, I'm just going to show you some very, very basic stuff with this. If we type XProp and hit enter, our... Uh, cursor turns into little crosshairs here and we can click on a window. I'll click on this uh, Chrome window back here and it gives you a whole bunch of information about that window along with, um, let me make this bigger here, uh, along with an ASCII art of what the icon for that application looks like. So there's the 64 by 64 pixel uh, icon the 32 by 32 and 16 by 16 because that application Chrome has all those. So you get a nice little ASCII art of what the icon looks like along with a whole bunch of other informations, uh, coordinates and geometry for the window, uh, allowed actions, um, which uh, I believe you can manipulate with this program. I haven't gotten that far with it myself. Um, it also tells you uh, things like uh, the, the title of the window. So in this case, it says Films by Chris. Uh, dash google.chrome because that's the link I'm in and also you may want to this is a quick little sneak peek of what my website looks like uh, um, I'm working on it I haven't put this out yet but next week or so you should be seeing this site in place of the temporary site I have up right now so a little preview there anyway so that that's a quick look that way so you know uh, we could also look at other windows uh, like um, here's like X clock which you probably already have installed on your system so I'll say, uh, let's first, doo -doo -doo -doo. oops, I changed desktop by accident. Let's move this here, move that there. Okay, XProp, I'll click on this one, and it gives you some information. Now, this program doesn't have its own icon. It's using a default XORG uh, icon there, uh, and Gears will probably do the same thing. XProp, I'll click down there same thing but you do get the other information the coordinates and geometry and and uh, the title of the window um, and the, the size there and what uh, actions are allowed I'll, I'll do another one I'll just click on the terminal window here and unlike Chrome uh, we only have one icon here but you can see I mean it's ASCII art so it's not beautiful but that's the term uh, the um, Terminator uh, icon there because that's the uh, desktop or the shell and the uh, shell emulator that I'm using, terminal emulator that I'm using. So, uh, you know, once again, it tells you the title uh, right there, the, the actual icon string um, for the name here it has the word XProp in it because that's the program that was running when I clicked on it. Um, so that's just a, a quick little program that's probably already installed on your machine. Um, tells you uh, what client machine it's working on uh, in case you're maybe you're uh, using SSH and exporting it will tell you what machine it's running on um, and if you go into uh, the man file for XProp uh, you know it tells you a bunch of different stuff here and one of the great things and I haven't played with it too much but you know it's a good man file when there's examples so here are a few things you can try down here so I just want to give you a quick look at that. Uh, once again, this is a program called XProp. Um, so unlike uh, some of my previous tutorials, which uh, were shell tutorials, basically I'm working in Bash here. Um, actually, no, I'm not using Bash on this machine. But it doesn't matter um, because XProp isn't a built-in function, unlike some of the previous tutorials, which were uh, specific maybe to Bash and may not work in other shells. Uh, since XProp is a standalone uh, program, it should run fine regardless of what shell you're using. So go ahead, play with that, XProp. And uh, if you get a chance, check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And uh, again, you know, in the next week or so, you'll the page will look like this, which has some nifty little search features that uh, bring up videos quickly when you search keywords and a bunch of other stuff. So going to be a lot better than my last site, a little cleaner looking, I think. Uh, and making it, trying to make it easy for you to find uh, playlists and videos from my YouTube channel because the search on YouTube uh, isn't great. Um, but uh, look forward to that. Thank you for watching. Once again, have a great day.